hi guys so this is going to be like a clothing and beauty haul i went to ulta forever 21 um vera bradley and francesca's i've been feeling fancy lately but yeah keep watching this video guys oh and let me know if you guys like the lighting of this better than the one in my room because like there's a there's a window thingy right there so it's just like the lighting in here is like just beautiful so I don't know if you guys like this better, but I'm kind of just like sitting on the floor. And I know it's like weird having like a door like right there. So I don't know what you guys like better. So let me know on that. But yeah, keep watching this video. Bye guys. Okay, so I kind of um, recorded part of this video before. But again, my editor thingy, like if a file or whatever is too big, it won't download. So I basically have to record that whole thing over. So I'm just like into, in, not integrate. We're just going to say integrate because that's kind of like joining things together too. I'm just going to join the videos together. Yeah. Or join the things together from the other video. You know what I mean. I got these um, boyfriend jeans from Forever 21. They were $27.80. And like it's hard for me to find boyfriend jeans. Because I kind of feel like they're made for skinny girls. And us girls that have big thighs. There aren't loose jeans that like fit properly that's supposed to be made I don't know like you know what I mean it's harder to find loose jeans for big thighs rather rather than finding loose jeans for girls that don't have as much thighs so yeah but I actually found some and they actually fit pretty nicely but yep I'm happy about these I got these um white shorts they're from JC Penney's I normally don't go in there my mom dragged me in there but uh, they were $15. They were on sale. Uh, originally, they were $45. And, yeah, they're just some white shorts. Did I say white jeans before? Maybe I did. I don't know. But these are some white shorts. And I haven't tried them on yet. So, hopefully, I mean, I, look, it seems like I could fit them. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about them being see-through. Because, like, I can see my hand in the sunlight when I do that. But hopefully you you can't see through them. But I really do like those. I got this shirt. From JC Penney's. I mean not JC Penney's. Forever 21. Forever 21. Uh, it's 1980. It's pink and orange. It's just really pretty. It's kind of like. It's kind of tunicky to me. It says. Hazel. I guess it's from the brand Hazel. Or Forever 21. I don't know. Um, but it's just really cute. And I'm either going to wear leggings with this. Or some white jeans. Yes. Yeah, so white jeans. Not white shorts. I'm going to wear white jeans. But I really do like that. And everything else is kind of like mixed up because I kind of lost the sex on some of this stuff. But yeah, um, this is kind of the um, beauty stuff. Some of the stuff is from Ulta. Some of it's from Sephora. Some of it's from Sally's. And I think that's all the stores that this is from. This is um, some e.l.f. brushes. I actually got this at Price Chopper. But I mean, you can find e.l.f. brushes at uh, Target too. Or... They may have them at Ulta. I haven't seen them in Ulta, but some Ultas may have them. But I got these at Price Shopper. And this is an eyeliner brush. I'm probably just going to use it to do my eyebrows. Not my like, eyeliner or anything. I don't need help with eyeliner, I don't think. So I'm probably just going to use this for my um, eyebrows. Uh, this is a concealer brush. Again, I'm going to use it for um, eyebrows. So there's those two brushes. And this is a blending brush. I just wanted another blending brush. And all these brushes are a dollar. They're actually really good um, quality for dollar brushes. This is from Ulta. Um, I've been using this already, but I kept the box. And I couldn't figure out how to close the box again. So just pretend that it's closed, okay? But, yeah, this is just a blending sponge or blending... Blend, did I say blending brush before? This is like a beauty blender. It's a beauty blender. And um, it was $5.99. I got one before, and it was $4.99, I think, from Ulta. Like, it was their brand. Or maybe, I think it was their brand of um, a beauty blender. But this is the Precision brand. And it is so much softer than the Ulta, um, Ulta brand. And it's only like a dollar more. So I would say get this one over the Ulta brand one. And it's pink and it's just really, it's good. Um, let's keep going with Ulta. I got this uh, Formula 10.06 So Totally Clean Cleanser. It's an everyday cleanser for sensitive, it's a sensitive formula. And it's cucumber and sea kelp. I've been using this lately, and this is probably my favorite cleanser yet. Like, I will be repurchasing this when it is gone. Um, it's just, 
it's just soft in your skin and um, you don't have to wash it away or anything like you just dab it on a cotton pad speaking of cotton pads I got cotton pads too but um this is just the 81 and it's just normal cotton pads but um, I use these cotton pads and I just dab this on here and yeah I love it like and it's pretty it's pretty to look at it's like green it's like turquoise it's like almost my favorite color but yeah I really like this if you guys want a, a skincare routine or anything um like this video or let me know or something I got that's from Target um Ulta this is from Ulta I got this Essie fill the gaps rich smoothing base coat um my fingernails I'm trying to grow them out that's why they're not painted right now um I haven't painted them in a while just because I'm trying to let them grow out and like I don't know it's just weird because my fingernails I don't know if you can see that but it has ridges in it like part of my nail will break off like well not break in half but like a layer of my nails will break off I should say that and it's just like I don't like the way that looks so I got this so when I paint my nails it's not like uneven layers I guess kind of like it just won't look ratchet and yeah I haven't used it yet so I don't know how it works but hopefully it works good because my nails need some serious help right now and I don't know why they do that but I don't know but I got that this was like almost ten dollars too so it, I really hope it works I will be returning it um I think everything else is from Sephora in here so this is from Target um this is the oil free eye makeup remover so this does remove uh, makeup but the problem is if you make a mistake and you use this oh it's like has bubbles in it and stuff but um, if you use it and you make a mistake to like clean up your mistake, you cannot like put makeup over this. After you use this to like clean it up, you can't put makeup back over it because it's oily. And it says oil, oil free, but it's like, it has no oily residue either, but it has oily residue. At least to me it does. Like, I, try, I messed up on my eyeliner a couple days ago and I used this to clean it up. And like I couldn't put eyeliner back over it because like it was oily. It wouldn't let nothing go back over it. So I don't know. I probably won't be repurchasing this. I'll probably um, try to find something better than this, and then I, maybe I'll like give it to somebody else or something. But I don't. I don't know. I don't really like it, and I don't like the way. Like it's a bottle. Why would you put eye makeup remover in a bottle? Like it shouldn't. It should be like an opening like this one. Like do you know what I mean? So you can put. So you can put a Q-tip in it or whatever, and just dab it. You can't do that with that. Like I spilled it all over myself one time. And I was pretty upset too. But, um, I got this from Target, too. It's the Sonia Kashuk, um, what's it called? I don't know. It's, um, it says makeup organizer. Makeup bag. It's a makeup bag. And it's just really pretty colors. Just, um, this turquoise color is one of my favorite colors. My favorite color is rose gold, coral, and turquoise. Yes, I said rose gold. That is a color. Um, it's very roomy in here. I don't know. I'm, last year, I took a lot of my makeup to school. And I didn't use a lot of it. So, I'm trying to, like, scale down on what I take to school. So, I plan on just, like, taking this. And if I need more, hopefully I won't. But I'll probably end up needing more. But I'll have to just pick and choose what I bring. Next is um, an eyeliner from Sephora. It's the Kat Von D ink liner. I used it today. Um... I love it like I love it if you guys want to um, see like a winged liner tutorial or something or like a review on this it says that it's waterproof and bold and instant which it is um, it's just easy to work with I really do like this um I got a strawberry lip balm it's the Smith's one it's like in the little can I've seen a lot of people with these and I use it today and it does moisturize your lips like I love it and it smells like strawberries too so that's good I got for um, the Beauty Insider thing for your birthday. They give you a present every year. This year's present was the Makeup Forever. Um, it's an eyeliner, not eyeliner. It's a um, it's a mascara and a lipstick. I really do like the lipstick in here. I probably will be buying that from Makeup Forever. I never had anything from their line, so this is like I don't really like the mascara. I mean, like I like the brush, but it's a free mascara, so I mean, like it's okay. But I like the lipstick a lot. I like the lipstick better than I do the mascara. I guess I can show you guys the lipstick. This is, nope, that's the eyeliner. I mean, the mascara. This is the lipstick. 
it's like a dark reddish plum pink peachy color it's a reddish peach color like I don't know it's just cute it's very natural too so I like it and lastly for the beauty products I got a um, all natural shampoo. It's a uh, jojoba manoy. It's by Eden. Um, I got this from Sally's. I haven't used it yet. I plan on just taking it to school. So uh, if you guys want to have a review on this or something, then I won't know how it is until I get to school. But yeah, I don't know. I they the person the worker said that this was better than the other one I had picked out. So I grabbed this one. But yeah. Next, I went to Vera Bradley, and it was my first time in there ever. So, oh, there's some beauty stuff in here. Oh, these are just soft twist rollers. I'm going to use this for my hair. I probably should have bought um, two more packs. I watched a video on a girl on how she used this, and she had like 20 in her head. So I probably should have bought more. So, Dad, you were right on that. But, oh well. I'll make it do, or I'll make it work. But, back to this. I have a binder. Oh, the bottom of this ripped packaging not the actual binder but I got a binder it's a flexi three ring binder um and it's just a pretty binder I'm gonna use this um and take it to um, every class that I have and this is where I'm gonna keep all my notes and stuff for my classes so I really do like it I thought it was gonna be like 30 something dollars but it was only 12 so I was happy I also got a notepad and yeah it's just pretty it's just oh it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous Lastly from Vera Bradley, it was the, like the splurge of the day. My dad doesn't agree with me with this, but I feel like it was worth $50. It was $50 for this wallet. But it's just beautiful. And it has a wristlet. I'm going to take it to school. I just want it like, I don't want to carry around my purse every day. So I figured if I just have my little wristlet, then I can have my little Vera Bradley with me. And it opens right here. You can put your phone in here. And this opens. And it's just... You can put a uh, cash in here, your ID goes in here, some cards, and then your change goes in there. So, it's just perfect. I love it. I really do. Like this, oh, it's just fabulous. And I went to Francesca's. It was my very first time in Francesca's ever. And I'm, I'm really happy that I went. Um, let's start with this book. So, this book. I saw it. Where did I see it at? I saw it. I don't even know where I first saw it. And then I went to Mizzou. And I saw it in my friend's room. Like her roommate had this book. Or she had the fashion version of this. And then I went on eBay and I was trying to find it. But they had it for like $26. But I found it for $21.99. So I was like yes I'll take it. But I want to go into like beauty and fashion and stuff. So I was like why not buy a book on beauty. Because I don't really like reading that much. But I figured if it's a book on beauty. Then I'll probably read it. But. I don't know. I guess it just takes, I get to touch your makeup steps and stuff. I got just, I'm so excited to read this. I really am. Ugh. She, I wonder if she has one on hair. She should really have one. I mean, we don't have the same hair type. So I probably couldn't read that. I mean, just to have it though. I want, I really want her fashion one. I wish they would have had the fashion one there. I would have got that one too. But I got this purse. I wanted a new everyday purse. And this is going to be it. It has fringes. It's suede. Um, they were having a sale. It was, this purse was originally $55. And I got it for $30. Every, every purse that was like over $40 or something was, um, for that day it was $30. So, this purse was $30 for the day. And it, I, I didn't know this. I thought like somebody stuck this in the purse before I got it. And I thought like I accidentally stole it or something. But I didn't. It's supposed to come with the purse but it's like this little pouch kind of thing like it's just a little bag I mean it's kind of roomy in there like I can fit my my essentials in here so I'm really excited to wear this and I wanted a fringe bag too I was gonna get one from H&M but it was like 50 or 60 dollars or something and I was like oh, I don't know about it and I thought this was cute too and this was 30 so and I feel like this might have been a better material than the one at H&M but I'm not for sure but I really do like it. And it has braids right here. I didn't notice that before. It has like two braids on each side of there. It's really cute. Um, I got... I really do like how... Like it made me feel fancy how they wrapped up my clothes after I bought it. 
it made me feel fancy but i got a dress and a shirt i think this is a shirt okay yeah this one's the shirt it's really cute it was really flattering on me this shirt was how much was it it was 36 dollars, but i think it was on sale but i'm not for sure i mean i can look at the receipt but it's really cute there's the shirt and it has like a keyhole kind of back to it like right here i don't know if you guys can see that like it like you see that i think you see that you see that but and then the buttons are like studs kind of it's really cute i can't wait to wear that too i want to wear white jeans with that i just need a pair of white jeans i got this dress it's kind of a shift dress it's really pretty like look at the neckline on there like it just makes me excited looking at this and again it has a keyhole for the back there it is but i really do like the neckline like you don't even have to put put um a necklace with it because it already has that fancy neckline and then it's not high low or anything it's just um this part like it has um what is that called in the center of it i don't know it has oh what is that called daddy what's this called slip it has a slip on the inside of it my dad's like my not my co-signer he's my it's my help for the day and but the of course the outside should be more long or longer than this actual slip but it's just really pretty and it was really very flattering on let's see how much those shirts was oh the dress how much was the dress um it was 44 i was bald in that day uh nope that's not that um oh that stuff was originally priced yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I think. I'm pretty sure it was originally priced. I also got um these pair of pants. They're navy. They, oh, they're see-through. They're see-through. You know that. Well, that may be a problem. I do not like they're really see-through. know how I'm gonna do that I mean I guess I can put spandex or something under here but they're see-through <laughs> um okay anyways and I really don't want to take them back because I'm trying not to wear sweats or anything and I feel like this would be a good alternative for sweats because they're like loose and like uh but they're see-through I'm upset and the lighting was dim in there, so they was, like, trying to trick me. Does Francesca's have a website? I think they do. I have to check. But, um, it gathers at the bottom of it. And it was $34, but I think it was $20 on sale. I'll still wear it. I just have to wear spandex under it each time. Dang. Um, and lastly, I got this beautiful necklace. Oh. I love it. 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 Love it. Love it. It was um, forty percent off of twenty eight, so it was probably like sixteen dollars, maybe, possibly, maybe sixteen, maybe seventeen, somewhere around there. It was really cute, though. I really do like it, and it's like it's just fabulous. Like it's just ultimate fabulousness, if that's a word. But. Um, I'm allergic to nickel like it breaks me out and it, like I have eczema it used to be worse than what it is right now but I hardly have it now but sometimes necklaces still break me out because they have they may have nickel in it so I do have to um paint over it with clear nail polish just so like if it does have nickel in it it doesn't actually touch my skin like it touches the clear nail polish and the clear nail polish touches me but I don't like not direct con I, not direct contact yeah so I'll probably have to paint over this just because they didn't know if it was nickel free or not so yeah um i think that's it so that was everything in my fashion and beauty haul i hope you guys liked it um i still feel fancy because i shopped at vera bradley and francesca's in a matter of a month just saying 
But, um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it, and catch you guys on the flip side. You know what really grinds my gears is when my dad calls me Ratchet. Like, can you hear him laughing in the background? Like, he just called me Ratchet, and I just now told him what that word means, and he looked it up on Urban Dictionary, and he was like, Naila, that sounds like you. No, let's not. That just really grinds my gear, so I just had to throw that in there. Okay, now I'm done. Bye, guys.